Okay, we are in Germon's Hall, and since this is a pretty tight dungeon, I would ask you to wait here, Doggo. This is between me and whatever is in this dungeon. He's such a good boy that he just doesn't want to wait. There's a chest down there, which I will get a bit later. Now I want to use the potions that we have put up. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That slowdown of the time. It's almost like using the slow shout, the time slow shout. Speaking about which, unrelenting pores should be loaded. Got all of the drawers here. And we're rocking Eagle, Whale, Snake, and Whale. Oh great, he hasn't even been pushed back. Last enemy must be somewhere up there. Good, let's take the key. Luckily we got decent magic resistance, so we're actually fine. We have no magic resistance, these guys 
are painful. Once they call, uh, catch up to you, not only are you losing uh, hit points, you're also losing your stamina. All of a sudden you can't really move. And then the only way uh, to beat them is to hit them and kill them, but without stamina. That again isn't as easy. Ports lever. Takes a bit after. After I shout to take another shot, so not a hundred percent sure if the unrelenting force is really the best choice. Marksman strength for the final push here. Oh boy, how could I miss both of them? You just need to hit the right one again. Cool. I like the bow. That's a solid upgrade. And once again, we're overloaded. That's a nice find. I might grab that a bit later.
And off we go into the original cave. Who's a good boy? Good. Two down, one more to go. Good, so we are finding ourselves at Starthal. In order to do this dungeon, which also concludes uh, the quest for the amulet, I needed to start the College of Winterhold quest line because that's the only way of actually doing the dungeon. Uh, not that this character is ever going to become a mage, but I figured it might be a good starter just to uh, see how we're doing. All right, let's go into the dungeon. Time to go through the dungeon. Good, well, she's still explaining everything. I think we generally can and should explore a bit further. Always accompanied by our beloved Doggo Vigilance. Time for us to put on a new amulet. There we go, not that we're a large uh, or a huge spellcaster, but that's the way forward. From now on, by the way, I'm pretty sure there are only undeads, so we're going with the silver spectral arrows. I can tell you what's going to happen soon. I'm going to be ambushed. Are you coming, old man? It is so non-fitting that we're playing a mage quest with the archer character who like literally has no magic whatsoever. something rather strange oops what just happened i'm afraid can you tell me more about what you saw? said something about danger ahead and the psychic order order are you quite sure about that that's very odd and danger ahead why that doesn't make any sense at all the psychics have no connection to these ruins and no one's seen any of their order in a long time Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Says the guy. Mm -hmm. Says the guy with the arrow in the chest. Well, ain't that a surprise. I must say though, he is pretty strong mage, like his strain spells are no joke.
he could potentially solo all of these guys. Good, let's go in deeper. Time for us to kill a few more Draugrs. Oh, I forgot we did have uh, fire wards on the ground. Invisible fire wards. Yeah. to use explosive arrows whilst vigilance is still near him. Yeah, there's another one on the ground here. still slightly poisoned. Toxicity takes its toll. Good time to solve this riddle here. Alright, come down, leave my doggo alone. Our bow is crazily strong. Good, same problem down here. We need to find a way to trigger these runes on the ground. Regular summon would do. A to waste a scroll. But I think realistically speaking that is what we will need to do. There's another one around the corner.
Alright, go ahead. Well, it seems as if we would be eating this one here. Sure, if you can avoid by jumping over. Nope, you can't. Well, time for us to regenerate, I suppose. Yeah, okay, well, down there, it's not looking that pretty. So, silver arrow of fire. And for good measure, I would actually like to deal as much damage as possible in the next one. Shooting his staff out of uh, the hand because the guy has a nasty, nasty staff. Yeah, Tall Gear, please do so. And whilst you're at it, let's zip that potion. Star Atronag, wow, okay. Okay, pretty tough fight, and he has the Magicka amulet. fine but it still seems we're in toxicity good let's heal up a tiny bit and wait until we get out of toxicity for real. Should have brought cleansing potions with me, but for now. What could this place be? Take a look.
Yeah, we don't need any of that. But we might be able to sell a couple of things. Thank you. This should cleanse toxicity as well. All right, cool. Good. Problem solved. Now we have all three parts of uh, the amulet. So now it's only a matter of reforging it and we'll do that next. And in good fashion, this quest ends at another dungeon, Reachwater Rock, one that we haven't uh, yet done in any of our playthroughs. So might as well go in there and do it. We want a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And whilst we're at it, a bit of that would be great. And for starters, how about that? Great, cool. Lost Legends. Good. We're going with Bear Whale Snake. Okay, sorry that was a voice uh, call. Let's start exploring the dungeon here. So, time for us uh, to get a bit more silvery arrow-ish. See, am I missing something? I was pretty much under the impression that you could open that, but it might have been uh, the way out. That's definitely the end fight. So, we're going to fortify our strength. And as per usual, I'm seeing a couple of enemies. Okay, that's a problem. Um, the frost damage actually is a problem. little disarming shout and I unfortunately got fully hit by it. 
And as always, when that happens, you gotta redo all of your binds. down two more to go The Papa returned. There we go. Completed to reforge the amulet. Look at that. Cold War amulet. Instead of Kind's token, we are looking at You do not lose magicka when hit. Irrelevant for us. Health increased by 40. Renders you immune to most perilous effects. Good. Magicka 40. Not so good. Allows you to keep focus while running. Not necessary. 35% less damage from absorbed spells. That's great. Increases stamina by 40 and renders you immune to most slow effects. It's perfect for a Gish character. It's actually really, really good. For us, it's an okay amulet that we could take amongst others. I think for now, almost uh, still stick with the Peerless Knight because physical attacks are sometimes quite, quite a bit to deal with. We definitely got ourselves a very nice fight here against 10-ish or so Draugrs and that almost concludes the episode uh, mm, I think Joffrey needs to be leveled up the way that we would want to do that is by getting evasion all the way to 50 Yes, please. There we go. There are a couple of other really good skills that we could use. I think for now, uh, hmm, next one could be one-handed, but we're not using that a lot. Stealth, on the other hand, could be could be not bad. Lockpicking certainly would save some of my very limited nerves. And alchemy also wouldn't be too bad. I say we're going with sneak next. Never wrong to have a couple of points in sneak. And...
Smithing is at 60, which is fine for now. Let's see, so in terms of next levels, still going with help because we never had any stamina problems. Um, smithing is fine. I mean, look, the next one here is 75, power shot, penetrating shot, both of which are good. We definitely can take some more evasion now. Immunity to kill moves is great. This here isn't bad either. I think Windwalker is also good, 75. Makes us faster, so we'll work towards that. In terms of just general dexterity, this is the only thing that I want, uh, but 80 is a bit too much for now. Which means it's either between smithing, but that upgrade can wait, or marksmanship, and I think marksmanship 75 isn't too bad. Going to 80 will be a bit painful. But yeah, this is where uh, the leveling slows down uh, noticeably, but that's also okay. I mean, we have we are at level 21 even. I'll potentially save the perk uh, to take power shots as and when available. There isn't anything else that we like drastically need at, at this point. Sometimes it's not wrong to have a perk left over. So, Geoffrey Delore made it through his Diaries of Death episode or tier 1 uh, structure. Quite successfully so. The last fight was difficult, but he certainly was successful with that as well. Uh, the build itself is quite good. I like uh, how it turned out. I uh, can highly recommend it. Uh, the moment that you can create your own elemental arrows, it just gets uh, more oomph on top of it. A no magic uh, um, uh, marksman build certainly up to this point uh, could pull its uh, weight. And if you liked it, uh, there will be a chance after I've done enough of the tier 1 uh, runs uh, to vote for whatever build you appreciate the most. And then we're going to start doing some tier 2 content with exactly that build. Um, in the spirit of an elemental arrow, I promise you the like button will not explode when you hit it. Uh, but it uh, would greatly improve uh, the chances of this video reaching out uh, to more people. Thank you for your collaboration and see you on the next uh, run. Take care. Bye bye.